It is not enough to just stand by, nor to just say, hashtag not all men, when women and children are dying at the hands of men every single day. Beware my body and soul. Beware, beware above all of crossing your arms and assuming the sterile attitude of a spectator. For life is not a spectacle. For the first time in South Africa, since the surge of gender-based violence, we see men at the forefront of a gender-based violence protest fighting for women and children. You know, they, there's a saying that, you know, there's no greater injustice than good men who keep quiet when things like this happen to, you know, um, the, the people that you love and people that trust you. I would love to see more male involved in such things because in the end of the day, it's not us women that are killing them, it's them that are killing us. I think it's a conversation that we need to have as well them as men. They need to sit down and actually come up with a plan that can be done because seriously, we are tired. It leads me to ask the question, what is it that we actually expect of boys? And I think that we're setting the bar very low. The man box is this idea which sets out all of the expectations that we have about what boys and men should be. And we talk about how if the boys had the choice, they probably wouldn't choose to be what society expects them to be. So how do we solve these issues? Well, based on my work, I would say what we need to do is have conversations which sounds easier than it is sometimes. Boys need spaces to work through these issues based on a conversation around what they think is really important. But I think, you know, we have to discuss the problem holistically, you know, and, and hence I'm saying, and the thing is, and, you know, sometimes when we say we talked about gender-based violence, we tend to just you know, what is it, uh, throw a blanket over it. But there is domestic violence where there is, uh, what, what you call it, intimate partner uh, violence. Mm -hmm. And there's a very, you know, there's, there's a, uh, certain circumstances that actually lead to that, uh, you know, the things that happen in that space. And for me, you know, it is one for me is that somehow men, we've got to come to a space where I think we've got to, like, <laughs> let me put it this way, we have to open up the cupboards and let the skeletons tumble out. But to do that, we need to then take on the violence that comes with masculinity. Exactly. In our so we need to talk about masculinity. We need to talk about these things free of judgment and give boys safe spaces to explore these topics. We need to talk about where it comes from, how it's learned and inherited, and why we are rewarded for behaving in ways that are inherently negative. The reality is that boys won't just be boys. Boys will be what we teach them to be.